So I'm just filming this clip here and excuse the state of me because our boiler is broken so we have no hot water, no heating and I'm just about to go to James's mum and dad's house to have a shower. Me and James met a dog and I will explain that in a bit but I have got an email from the housing association that owns the property we live in because I had to submit a pet permission form to see if they would grant us permission. We couldn't reserve the dog either without the permission. So I've sent them like two emails, I've called, I've been like proper impatient. This is actually my work phone because I film on my personal. I've had to forward the email to my work phone, but I promise I've not read it yet. I'm just filming this as like a just in case. Oh, please, 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 please. She's literally the breed, size, like everything that we wanted. Hi Chelsea, as you have your own patio doors to use as an entrance and you work from home most of the time, then I'm going to grant permission. I will upload the form you filled out and send an approval letter as well. Enjoy your new member of the family and any issues, please let us know. Thanks again. We finally get a third member of the family that we haven't had because I can't conceive for... I haven't conceived. And we really wanted a third member of the family even if it meant like a fur baby and not a human baby. I can't believe this is happening right now. Oh, pull yourself together. Okay, I am going to call the rehoming centre and find out who I need to forward that email for so that they can see evidence that we've got permission and then I need to pay a £20 deposit to reserve her so that nobody else gets to view her and obviously adopt her. So, oh my god. So, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> Don't mind me. I saw an email on my personal phone from the rehoming centre that we are getting our dog from and I saw the word birthday and then immediately didn't open it. I swear I didn't open it. I have forwarded the email to my work phone because I film on my personal phone but I knew that I wanted to film this and I don't know if that is strange or not but I wanted to film it. She was a stray but she was microchipped so they were hoping they would have a birthday for her and it looks like they do so i'm going to find out me and james were saying it'd be pretty cool if her birthday was the same month as us we are august birthdays so let's see hi chelsea i'm already tearing up collar measurements harness measurements her birthday is shut up The 16th of August. <laughs> that literally couldn't be any more perfect. <laughs> oh, James is at the beginning of August. She's in the middle of August and I'm at the end. So it goes James is the 6th of August, she's the 16th of August, and I'm the 25th of August. So beginning, middle, end, all August. It's like, I couldn't have asked for any more. I couldn't, I literally couldn't have asked for anything to be more perfect. How has it all just come together exactly how it needed to be? And everything in my life just seems to be coming together now. I feel like she's gonna be the missing piece. Literally. Why am I so dramatic? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is probably the most exciting day in the world because it 
it's doggo adoption day. We're on our way to the rehoming centre that we're adopting our new dog from. She is a rescue, that's pretty obvious. And we are about two minutes away. It's doggo adoption day! Woo -woo! We were supposed to actually pick her up a week ago, but she was neutered. They neuter all of the dogs uh, just to avoid people adopting dogs for obviously bad intentions like breeding. She had her surgery, so she was neutered, and then we were supposed to collect her a week later, which was last Tuesday. And unfortunately, there were some bleeding complications. Apparently, the vets weren't that concerned. It was more that she just bled more after the surgery than they would have liked. So the vets wanted them to keep her for another week so that they could be in a better position to like control the environment so making sure she's not jumping up and running and it would have been unfair to ask us as the new owners to take her home and then not be able to do anything with her and keep her crated they can control that better so we didn't actually know about the bleeding complications though until the day that we were supposed to collect her so we were waiting for the phone call and then they called and said like bad news she needs to stay another week because of the bleeding complications and we're like what bleeding complications like nobody informed us so apparently that was probably because the vets weren't that concerned it it wasn't like a massive issue i think they just wanted to have that extra week of recovery so but we got the call today at about quarter to two this afternoon the vets on tuesdays will do like all the rounds and dogs are checked last so it was about quarter to two this afternoon and they were like you can come and get her so we're literally like one minute away now i don't know i don't think we'll be able to film when we're in there like signing the adoption agreement and talking about her and stuff but i am going to ask them if they'll film her being brought out to us because i think that's a really special moment and this is obviously a very special day so i'm hoping they'll do that for us but yeah are you nervous hello We'll see if I can get a clip of her being uh, brought out to us, and if I can, I will insert that now. Oh, you've got a pink corner. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. We go home. We're going home. Are you home? She went straight to the mirror. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I think there's another universe where I haven't yet felt pain, and maybe in that other universe, I'm a flower. And you're 